Okay, so here we are in the EnchantmentPetResort.com shopping cart, and we've got these different classes that we're selling. And I want to show you what we're going to change. If we click on the Canine Good Citizen and we scroll down, see where it says gender, female, spayed, male, and neutered. We want it. These are this is an attribute, and these are attribute values in a shop in a Zen card shopping cart. And we're going to change, do a new attribute, two new attributes. One is female and one is male. And each of those are going to have two separate radio buttons. Uh, female will have intact and spayed. Male will have neutered and uh, intact and neutered. And I'll show you what I mean because I've already done it here. So if we scroll down, this is what we're looking to achieve on all of the products, okay? so. I'm going to show you what I did. I logged into the Zen cart. I went to catalog, option name manager. Okay. And I created a new attribute named female. And I said that it's going to be a choice of radio buttons. Okay. And I gave it a number to replace gender which is seven of seven. And I chose insert. So that's what I did. And you'll see that I did that because if we scroll through all these, um, you'll see there's one called female and the option type is radio buttons and the number is seven. And then I did the same thing for male and, I, and the option type was radio buttons and the sort order was eight, okay? So now we have to go into option values in order to add the value for each um, of these new attributes. So you find your attribute here. So I found female and I added intact and when the order was one and I chose insert. And then I, f I did the same thing. I found female and I chose, wrote down spade and the order is two, and I chose insert. And then I found male, and I put intact, and the order was one, and I chose insert. And then I found male again, and I chose, I wrote down neutered, and the order was two, and I chose insert, okay? So now those options and their values are available so we have to change them on all the on all the products and we do that you would think maybe in the product area but no <laughs> you do it in the attribute controller which you can get to the way I just did or by catalog attributes controller then you have to select the product that you want to change so we're all the way down to good citizen we need to display that so you click on display after you select it and we find gender, which we no longer want. So I'm going to delete it. And it's confirming that, and I'm saying yes. Now I have to scroll all the way to the bottom and find my new attributes. Female, radio button, intact, and spade. I'm holding my command key down on a Mac. You can do that with a control key on a PC as I select each one and choose insert. Now let's see where it falls. It's perfect. It's falling in exactly the right spot. So now we're going to add male. Male, scroll down, male, intact, neutered, insert. And so we've got our, um, go, to, go to the shopping cart, we go to canine good citizen, scroll down, all is well, okay? So now we'll just do it for the other ones, or at least one or two, because just to get a little experience in here. Scroll down, delete the gender, which we're no longer using. Scroll all the way down, select female, intact spade, enter. Scroll all the way down, male, intact, 
neutered insert. Let's check it out. Refresh this page. All is well. So you can just rewind this video and follow through the steps again. I'll be completing these, but if you need this video for other attributes, just rewind it. Okay, enjoy the shopping cart.